So as a business owner, what did we discover today, honey? It's hard to get away. It's hard to get away. It didn't end up being our first date, so we got married there. This is St. John's River, of course there's gators. Father goes gator hunting. Go to the same place every week. And I just can't stop crying about this. How you feeling about Daddy Donor Bill? Hi, YouTube. That's it. Hey, bye Reagan, bye Oliver. The Free Spirit Bundle Shop. It's Friday, and because it's Friday, we were able to take today off. Let me tell you, it's 12.15, and we are just now taking our day off. What are we doing, baby? We're on a boat day, boy. Yeah, so we're taking a boat day, and we're so thankful for our business, but man, it was like, ah, oh, like when you have a day off. And the reason why we're taking Friday off is because we're working. Saturday, Sunday, all of yes. next week, oh. and the following weekend. Yeah, so. normally we don't work weekends. Like, we really try to honor our family life, but sometimes you just have to do that. So, we're very excited to go enjoy a boat day. What's your favorite drink on the boat? Mike's. I love Mike's. This one's amazing. Cheers, honey. Apple pear, seasonal yes. flavor. Even while we're on boat day, we hear from our team, which who we love, by the way. We're so blessed. Anyway, they were having some questions for Scott. We're doing a tile backsplash right now, which is beautiful. It's like peacock blue. It's so fun. But we haven't officially unplugged. <gasps> Can anyone relate to this? We are closing in on a park that Scott first asked me on a date and I told him no, but we actually ended up getting married right here. So here it is where Scott and I got married at Alpine Groves Park. So Scott and I met at a bar. Listen, that's like not our scene at all. So here's the thing about me. I didn't even know how to like, no joke, ask for a drink at the bar. I was like, maybe I'll go over this guy. So I just kept reaching over Scott's shoulder all night. And then eventually my friend Andrea tapped him on the shoulder and he turned around and we started talking. Then what? She bought me two shots. I did? <laughs> yes, she did. Andrea did. Oh, not she told me. me. She told me it was her birthday or something. She did tell her and it was not true. <laughs> it was not her birthday. And then Scott offered me a shot and here's something about me. I've never had a shot in my life. And so I was like, no, thank you. I don't want a shot. He's like, no, just have a shot. I was like, no, I don't want a shot. And then he looked at me in my eyes and he's like, just trust me. And I trusted him. And what'd you do? It was my turn to buy a round, so I bought a round of, of shots for everybody. And I got her a shot of water, but it was dressed up the same as everybody else's shot. <laughs> so it had a lime on it like everyone else's, but it was water. I was like, oh, that was smooth. Cause he knew I, I genuinely like did not want a shot of anything. So then Scott asked for my phone number and I was like, mm. so. She gave me them digits. Yeah, I gave him free spirit designs. <laughs> I literally gave him my work phone number, you guys. So I gave him that and then he texted me. What'd you say? Drive safe smiles. Good night smiles. She's Drive got, safe. She's got an amazing smile. Honey. The next morning he texted me and asked if I wanted to have coffee. I was already having coffee at my house. I was good. I was like, no, sorry, I'm already having coffee. Oh park. yeah, no, yeah. I invited her to have coffee and walk our dogs in the park. That was the first date. Yeah. Should have been our first date was right here at this park. Right here. Right here at this park should have been our first date. Mm -hmm. So it didn't end up being our first date. So we got married there. There's a lot of clams where we are. There are no gators here. Are there gators? Yeah. This is St. John's River, of course there's gators. So in the fall, my father goes gator hunting and Scott has gone with him and our son Nathan and Isabella has also gone gator hunting. How big was the biggest gator you caught? We got nine footer. Cause I'm just over six feet. That thing was, I mean, I could reach eight feet. Right that thing was longer than I could reach up high. So Scott is saying that the boat is like literally resting on the sand. You're gonna have to push it. Once you get in there. So strong, honey, pushing the whole boat. Push this up off the dirt. Every time we're on a boat day, Scott is always the captain. It's such a good boat day, and now we're at our favorite place. And this is called a hot mama, and the bartender tonight, he made it extra hot. 
And I forgot to tell you guys that this is where we had our very first date night. And now we come weekly, Scott? Yeah, probably every week. Pretty much we every try week. to at least we once do. a week. We do. This is like, we're just such old people. We go to the same place every week. We have one of our favorite servers. His name is James. It's like family by now. I mean, yeah. this this is a high tide. My drink of choice It's like a rum punch, but I like the cool cup it comes in. Base scallops are my absolute favorite. They're amazing. So before heading in to go to a couple clients' houses to work today, it is Saturday. Anyway, I'm like, I'm folding laundry and having like crying fest here. Today is daddy-daughter dance. And Cassidy, my middle daughter, has always gone with Scott ever since her father left. My kids haven't seen their dad in three years, his choice. But anyway, and Bella went the first year with Scott and then hasn't gone for two years. And now Bella is a senior. So she went her freshman year and now she's going her senior year. And I just can't stop crying about this. <laughs> like for those people who have kids man when they tell you it flies by it's so true so I'm really excited for the girls to get to go together and I'm so thankful Bella made that decision on her own to go her senior year I think it's more for Scott <laughs> but anyway so Cassidy, this is her dress for daddy-daughter dance and they go to a private school. So they're kind of strict about like how much to cover and like how short or long your dress can be. So I am having to sew to show less chest on this dress for Cat. We tried to pin it, that was not working. So we're just gonna stitch it up instead. Hey homie, what are you doing? Honey, my favorite thing. Yeah, what, do you, what do you love about it? I love that you're taking my girls to the daddy-daughter dance. So, I would iron your underwear if you wanted me to today. Yeah. <laughs> I don't love ironing. Honey, you guys look like you're going to a funeral though. Everyone's wearing black. I didn't pick that. I would've wore blue. Maybe I should've went dressed like Foghorn Leghorn. Who? <laughs> so, what's the uh, agenda? I was told that we're doing an escape room, and then we're changing locations and doing a uh, scavenger hunt at Ikea. And then we're going to the school, eat food in the gymnasium. That should be amazing. <laughs> How you feeling about Daddy Daughter Bell? Hi YouTube, we're gonna win. What are you doing? This is why are you putting this on YouTube? <laughs> Big girl, bag it up. What are you gonna win, babe? I mean, they got a big trophy. It's like this big. <laughs> no, they don't. We're gonna get to bring it home, put it on the mantle. You guys are gonna win. Yes. So since Scott is with the girls, I decided to come out to mom and dad. Welcome to my dad's shop. This is where I first learned how to do all things. But let me introduce you to my father. This is my dad, Herb. This is beautiful boots for a mantle that he's working on for a client. These boards are for Free Spirit Bundle Shop, and Dad what? ripped them for us. So while I'm here, I asked Dad if he could help me replace this. So I bought this on Amazon, and we're gonna recover it now. That's it. And Dad's not even letting me do it. He just took it into the shop. Let's go see how to recover a center console. First, you remove the old nasty. Thank you, Dad. Okay, we are ready to install this beauty. You know, it's the little things in life, my friend. Hold on, this has to go on first, right? Let's just screw that on and then this goes on it, right? Yeah, that's the last thing that goes on it. Okay, then I did it right. Let's go here. I feel cleaner. Done. Oh, the how you meet mom. This is my mom, Brenda. Just looking at the goats. Don't you love your goats? I love my boys. Bye, Reagan. Bye, Oliver. I hope you enjoyed your time in the cove with me. Now I'm headed back home because the boys are by themselves. So since Scott's with the girls, I'm gonna do something with the boys tonight. I don't know what they have in mind. So this is Scotty. Hey, and where did you and Nate decide to go to dinner? Waffle House. I don't love Waffle House. I love my boys though. So we're going to Waffle House. But first we need to get that wood out of the car. Get, two chocolate chip waffles and two sunny side up. Scotty? Oh, I got what you got, but without the sausage. This is, um, there's eggs in here, chili on top, hash browns, a little bit of cheese, some onions. It looks terrible, it's so good. <laughs> 
So we just finished church and then after church, we just stopped by a bathroom project that we are so excited to share with you guys. It's gorgeous. And then today we're getting our little bundles shop at home just in order. The weekend is full, but probably doesn't look much different than yours. Our weekends are times to catch up and sometimes we have to work, but. We are doing great in the Free Spirit Bundle shop. So all these shelves will be able to be full of product for Free Spirit Bundle. And then our little wrapping station. It's so exciting. It's coming along. We did have a good <laughs> trip. Oh, so, oh, sorry. I'm all through. Sorry about that, guy. This is video. Honey. Honey. Honey, they're not nearly I the cannot dust. bend over. Like, why? I want my shoes to fall off while I'm dancing. <laughs> it's a video. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> um, you think he ever gets dressed up? Look at how dusty the shoes are. Hey, homie. Put your pants on. Honey, those are some steamy pants. Yes. They're gonna You're make, a steamy man. They're gonna make me like, ah. Oh. 